Hey guys, it's Chris. How you doing? This video is going to be about oral sex um, and the fact that it is a sin. I've been talking to a lot of people who call themselves followers of Christ about this. And uh, when I give them my perspective that this is sin, they get very angry. They get very outraged. They throw a fit. They call me an arrogant little punk. And that's why I'm doing this video. Traveling through to another dimension, a dimension of not only paranoia and delusion, but of idiocy. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that pure ignorance. Your next stop, the Batshit Crazy Zone. <laughs> Because basically, I really don't care what anyone thinks. This is a sin. The Bible says it's a sin. Sodomy counts for oral sex. It's the same exact thing. Any acts that were performed by the people of Sodom, they are considered sodomy. Any fruitless, non-reproductive act is considered sodomy. That involves sexual contact and lust. Okay. Guys, if you're doing this and you get mad at the fact that this is sin, you have a sodomite spirit dwelling in your flesh. Now, I want to go over a couple issues that I wrote down here. A couple, th a couple ways I look at this that, to me, prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is sin. Most people will say the marriage bed is undefiled. Ow. I say it's undefiled until you defile it. Sex outside of marriage Allie. is defiled. Sex within marriage Allie. is undefiled. That's what that verse means. It doesn't mean that you can have oral and anal sex and bring a donkey into your bed. Good morning to you and you. You have. The fruit-bearing sex you have is not defiled. It doesn't mean the perverted sex you have and the satanic sex you have is not defiled. Now... One first issue that I've already mentioned is oral sex is sodomy in God's eyes and in definition. Two, the point I want to make in two is the Song of Solomon in no way at any point in the entire book refers to oral sex. Every church leader on, number three, every church leader on earth is afraid to discuss this because of the need to keep the seats full in the church. Four, Delusional Christians believe today that oral sex is only sin if they think it is sin. Number five, oral sex is fruitless to God's kingdom and was not how God intended us to show love to our spouse or anyone else. Number six, the human mouth by creative design does not belong chomping on a, per on a person's sexual organs or licking a person's sexual organs or sucking on them, okay? Oral sex was a complete abomination until about 50 years ago. It is on an incline along with the satanic falling away. So number seven is the fact that as the satanic falling away increases, so does oral sex. I know when I was younger, you were nobody until you had oral sex when you were in high school. It was... Um, you know, have you done this? You know, everyone's a freshman in high school and it's the norm. There were girls that went around my high school that were known for giving oral sex and everyone had to try it out. It's like almost like an initiation. Now, I'm going to go into some things on this and how every year that goes by, a larger percentage of young people and adults are having anal and oral sex. Number eight. During oral sex, you actually drink the body fluids of your partner. Now, blood or body fluids do not belong in your mouth. You have demons in your body. I don't care if you think you don't. You do. When you do an abominable act like having oral sex, the demons in your body get the body fluids from your partner, and lust inside of your marriage is empowered. Okay? 
Oral sex, number nine, oral sex within the marriage will Mallet. rob the love of God out of the marriage. Mallet. This I know for certain because I've seen it happen in other people's relationships and I've seen it happen in my past relationships before I was saved. How I did these acts, I did sexual abominable acts with my partners and I started looking at them as more objects than I do now with my wife now where we've never done that and we know we're not supposed to do that. It's a different kind of love, okay? Now, that's pretty much it for that. And we're going to see why this is complete ridiculous foolishness that's being shoved down people's throats. That's being shoved down people's throats. That's being shoved down people's throats within the body. And you know what, guys? You will get what your wicked heart desires, and this stuff is a curse from God on you. Sodomites will not enter the kingdom of God. And that's just the bottom line. You are not going to defile your wife or your husband and treat them like a filthy homosexual prostitute, having sex like a homosexual prostitute, guzzling on their body fluids and feeding demons, and go to heaven. You're not going to go to heaven. I don't know about you guys, but if the body divides and on one side is the blowjob side and on the other is the non-blowjob side, Put me on the non-blowjob side all day long. What spirit do you think the woman is led by when she's learning technique to give a man a blowjob? The, the, a woman's throat is only so deep. It wasn't meant to have a penis in it. Okay? Now, you'll say, well, you might be a woman and you, you might be saying, well... How about my husband doing it to me? You know, it feels good when he does it to me. Do you like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! To do it Say you like eating red carpet! I like me. eating red carpet! Now, I know that I've had demons eating. in my body, so and I guarantee that you that they're love drinking and that goodness fluid that's inside of us because good. of Christ. This is why you need to repent. Holy Spirit, and just act. rain your love in the, the most sweetest. Is that. This kindest and patient way over us right now, God. Just come over us like a, is a soft storm today, that washes away years ago, this was looked at as all of the conversion of our life. A hundred years ago, people so we can come before you, God. We love you, Lord. We love you, and Jesus. That, Jesus, you Jesus, 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 we cry out to you. We cry out to you, Jesus. We want more, Jesus. More of you, God. In English, More of Jesus. The English come. language says sodomite means someone who does oral sex. That's the way God wanted it to read when he inspired someone to translate it. It was meant for, to be understood simply the way it's written, written in context. And the way I read it, anyone practicing sexual immorality is going to hell. Anyone who's a sodomite is practicing sexual immorality. And anyone who's having oral sex is a sodomite. Period. There's no way around it. It's just the way it is.